Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. This is the first episode of Beastars Season 2. Oh boy, uh, it was a, kind of a short wait but it's here. And I've been excited for like Beastars uh, after Season 1 ended. And yeah, it's finally here and I'm very happy. Also, um, uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, like welcome and uh, like I, I'm like getting this off in the beginning. Uh, that is like uh, I'm a timer based channel obviously because of copyrights things and all and my channel like once got uh, striked twice so I don't like time I'm not taking any risks and I do timer reactions so like uh, the subtitles will be given and also the timer will be given you can sync it to the video that you're watching and watch along with me also um, like uh, my impressions of the first season of Beastars uh, I loved it and I was at the beginning obviously like each and every person I was a bit skeptical about the whole CGI thing because obviously uh, CGI uh, in anime is has been quite disastrous in a few animes and uh, like Hoseki no Kuni was kind of an exception and uh, after like watching Beastars, uh, Beastars is also an exception and I love like the way they portray the story, the animations, the soundtracks, each and everything and I really love that a real mature story is like hidden beneath this uh, like characters like uh, the characters like um, a wolf, a rabbit, uh, lions and everything and I really like enjoy like that kind of uh, like I don't know what to say but uh, this like this anime has a real um, like interesting story, interesting mature story and uh, I'm really looking forward to what they're going to uh, do in season 2. I'm guessing uh, they're probably going to delve more into the whole uh, disappearance thing that uh, we kind of saw in season 1. But kind of like got uh, swept under the rug because of the whole uh, Haru thing and like Ligoshi kind of like um, coping up with his feelings, his new feelings and uh, also like distinguishing it, his, his uh, like feelings of love uh, with uh, his predat uh, predatory um, what can I say? Uh, predatory um, instincts. Yeah, instincts. Uh, so, yeah, that was basically season one. So, like, in the beginning, I'm going to say I love season one. And uh, here is season two. So, let's see what uh, this season brings. So, without further ado, guys, uh, let's get started. This is Beastars season two, episode number one. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the opening. Okay, um, this is uh, like not my first time seeing the opening. I've seen the opening before. I've also reacted in my sh uh, channel. So yeah, I know this opening is amazing. Like this is some um, like the beats and everything. The color palettes and each and everything is so good. And here it is. Okay, it's like starting with the opening, which usually like the first episode doesn't do like in animes, like in a few animes and a lot of animes, uh, like uh, season, episode one doesn't have the opening at all or like at the ending, the opening is uh, like played, but we're starting off with the opening. So yeah, I'm guessing we'll also get the ending this episode. That means uh, like the ep ending has not been like, uh, like out. This would probably be the first time listening to the ending for us. All right, let's go. Cherry turns. Oh yeah, this is one thing we I've also heard in Japanese anime, like the Guardian Star. You can make your own star shine. <laughs> I 
like i'm i'm happy that like legoshi is like having fun with friends <laughs> I forgot his name, uh, the dog's name. What was his name? Jack. Was was it Jack? Hmm. Okay. How many times will the alarm ring until the boy wakes up? Okay, that's uh unique name for the episode oh oh is he going to get attacked by that oh my god the... this place is scary like oh my god run dude it's not worth it for Damn. Oh boy. I hope nothing happens to him. Like Okay, um What the what was that? What the hell? Oh my god, what is that? Excuse me. Rumor. Monster. Six eyes. Lecture Hall 2 Oh my god, alright Um I doubt that's the case Half a year Them's footsteps Oh, so it's just like Certain student. Who? Oh. Um. No, I doubt that's the case. <laughs> Ligoshi is like doing his own thing. <laughs> oh boy. What is he doing? Is he like messaging Haru or something? Yeah, yeah, it's Haru, isn't it? <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Oh, walls. Okay. Oh, that time, yeah, when Legoshi kind of I have to say, like, I think the animation has gotten better, didn't it? From season one. Uh, because people will... Yeah, like, people will kind of... Like, spread rumors and everything. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> I doubt that. It might increase.
<laughs> oh. Mm. oh my god uh, I don't think Haru meant that I think Haru meant something else by you but a choice of words was kind of Okay. Oh no, um I think Juno will Will Juno like step up? Her name was Juno, wasn't it? The female wolf. What the? What a weird noise. Oh my god, these guys. Uh, Louis missing, yep. Um... Uh, uh, are we gonna get some kind of jump scare or something? Oh my god, these guys! Oh, <laughs> maybe. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that is freaking scary. <laughs> He's just chilling there. Like, don't worry. He also wanted a picture. Like. Oh lord, my... Run! Oh my... Yep. Alright. <laughs> there they are. Ah. Uh. Yeah, he just wants like to know if it sells. Oh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh there it is. Oh they're they're not hearing it. Okay, what the only he's hearing it. Oh wait look Wait what? Is this some kind of hallucination or, or is it really Louis? Wait. Oh. Ho, ho. Wait. This. This is really Louis. He came back. Oh. Two months. He's extremely calm, yeah.
ओके रेजिग्नेशन ओ cheap light okay um light and dark of the first okay um Luis has become a lot uh um okay <clears throat> what are they doing are they like trying to find the Oh, they must have like kept some kind of a camera or something so that they can like catch whoever like I don't know. I'm just guessing Hmm Yeah, his like personality kind of like changed extremely Hmm. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> and Ligo, she has no idea. Like, oh my god, she's gonna get mad. <laughs> Ligo, she has no. Uh, does Legosi really realize what she that's a weird way to answer to confession uh, what Wait, is he realize, realizing that now? Like, I don't know, like, Lego shit's a bit dense, so... Uh... Hmm... Uh... Ah... Uh, 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 um... Okay. Huh. Okay, what's happening here? Yeah, what's what's happening? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, so that worked. Yeah, like she just wanted to like confess to Legoshi, like. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, she is kind of like going for the B-stars. She's just sister. Yeah.
Oh. Candidates Juno, Louis, and Oh, my God. Wait, so the sound was some. But that monster is something else, I think. Yeah. Oh. Everyone's talking about Juno. Yeah, like Louis going away, and like no one's talking about it. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, he can just like lay like be be back. <laughs> uh what's wrong with that like Oh, my legacy. Oh, it's still okay. So this is something different. Like only Legoshi can hear it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, don't spook them, <laughs> Legoshi. <laughs> yeah, like they're getting scared. Uh Okay, calm down, Legoshi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty. Okay. It's calling them out. Yeah. Is this the snake that we saw in the trailer? I don't know. Like, it's kind of like a rattling sound. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is Orochimaru's voice actor. Okay. Oh, is that the end? Oh, no ending song. Probably we'll get it from the next episode. It's just the opening that are playing. Okay, it's showing stuff from season one. Okay, well, that was, uh, oh,
Oh. Yeah, it's showing the f whole like season one, the whole plot. Okay. That the end, or is there something else? It's the end. All right. So um, that was episode number one of Bisa season two. Okay. So uh, it introduced us to I don't know, like uh, some kind of uh, mystery that is going on in the like uh, the school that is um, a monster which has apparently which has like six eyes and it's kind of looks like a weird kind of I don't know, like something. <laughs> and it like has footsteps so that's the monster now the question is is that monster and the snake that we're probably going to see in the next episode uh, the same because if it is not so like uh, I doubt it's the same thing as the snake because the snake obviously has two eyes so we also kind of saw uh, like when we saw the monster we also kind of saw like it had like big eyes like in this big eyes and it was kind of like uh, like a lot of eyes at the same place and it was like kind of uh, i don't know you know those weird kind of tentacle things with eyes <laughs> like i kind of felt it it was kind of like that i don't know what the hell that was and i'm still like uh, like we can't uh, guess if it was the same thing as the uh, snake and i doubt that is not the case because the snakes like when it uh, like when it like moved it kind of like made this as like she said sha kind of sound and kind of like a rattling sound so i think uh like the monster that they're talking about and the snake are two completely different things and um like because the monster like they heard like footsteps with it so who knows we'll probably get to know later on and i don't know like this whole like uh like i saw like kind of like legoshi only like hearing this like this uh, sound from the snake uh, only he is hearing it and all of the other like animals uh, beside him were not uh, able to hear it now I don't know like there are two explanations to this uh, which I don't know which is the truth and then the mambo, now, number one explanation is maybe like Ligoshi's hearing like range is a lot more than the other like friends but I doubt that is the case because obviously like um, like when uh, Ligoshi was there, uh, like only he can hear it, and like there were, there must be other times when also other students who have like uh, more hearing range than Ligoshi. There must be someone who has more hearing range than Ligoshi. He or she might also hear it. So why have like uh, a person who has heard it not like reported it? Like we've only heard about the monster with the multiple eyes, and it like had footsteps. Like it was like kind of uh, shown in the newspapers as well. So, like, my question is, like, if the problem, like, if the thing is that Ligushi has a longer hearing range and none of his friends has that amount of hearing range, so Ligushi can also hear it, there must be some other person as well who can also hear it, who has, like, similar or, like, even longer hearing range than Ligushi. So, why they have not, uh, like, uh, reported it? So, I think uh, that explanation is not the case. My second uh, like uh, reason or explanation behind this is maybe Ligushi is the only one who can hear it because of some other reason. Like I don't know, this episode kind of like the whole thing with the snake kind of like reminded me of one thing. You guys know, um, if you've seen Harry Potter, uh, like when Harry was able to like only hear like only he was able to hear the like language of the snakes like that kind of like uh thing that uh, i think it was in the, the second movie uh chamber of secrets was it yeah i think um like when she like he under like when he got to know that only he can hear the language of the snakes and he can also talk it like uh, speak it so it kind of reminded me of that like maybe lego she's also kind of like that like only he can hear uh like the snake who knows maybe like these are all like uh, speculations on my part and uh, maybe none of them are correct and I'm just like uh, making guesses at this point and we'll probably get the answer soon uh, I'm guessing in the next episode probably when the snake introduces himself or herself I don't know 
if that's a male or a female and when uh, like uh, in the introduce themselves uh, we'll probably get to know what the actual case is and excuse me and yeah that was the whole thing with uh, legoshi and uh, the sounds that they were hearing and another thing in this episode was um haru um, haru and legoshi now here's the thing like uh, like like when haru and legoshi were talking Haru kind of like made it uh, as if like when she was talking with Legoshi, it seemed as if she was insinuating that there is nothing between them. Now I think maybe that is completely Legoshi's misunderstanding and also our misunderstanding as well. Like the way she said, uh, what did she actually say? Like she kind of like worded it in like a weird way, like um, something like, oh here it is. After all, our relationship is, and uh, you know, like uh, there are like two uh, possibilities to hear. Number one is as Ligoshi is uh, like thinking, like as Ligoshi said that, am I the only one who got like excited um, by like uh, sending her texts and everything and thought that maybe we are in a relationship? Uh, that might be the case, but I doubt that is the case because obviously in season one we saw the whole thing and I think Haru kind of accepted Legoshi in a way. And also Legoshi said that I'll become stronger, I'll like be uh, try myself, try my best to like, like stop my uh, instincts. And uh, like Haru said that, okay, I'll wait. So uh, like because of that, I think uh, the thing that Legoshi is thinking now that maybe I'm the only one who is being excited, maybe nothing is between us and I'm kind of like uh, getting excited on my own. That is not the case. And I think uh, the, the thing that Haru said kind of worded it in a like bad way. Like she said that, you know, our relationship is, you know, like and then like she awkwardly smiles and like, like gives out an awkward laugh. I think by that she meant that you know that uh, like uh, she still has this whole uh, complex can I call it a complex I don't know what I should actually call it but she has this whole thing about like yeah I'm a herbivore and uh, Lego she is a carnivore so like nothing can like people will like look at us weirdly and all of these things like she like as as, as we see saw in like season one um, like Legoshi has this whole thing of like not caring what others think of him like he is kind of like his own guy like he does his own thing that does he the thing that he thinks is the best and really doesn't like listen to others uh, in a good way like he keeps to himself uh, himself and do not like uh, do as others tell him to or like uh, look at the, his reputation or whatever but Haru is completely opposite to that like she is more of a girl who like once like listens to the opinions of other uh, not opinions but the rumors and everything that are like happening she kind of like uh like stresses on that uh, too much and that is also uh, because of a reason because as she said like uh, no one looked at me and uh, season one this uh, this was the whole thing like why did he like uh sleep with so many people uh, the reason was that as she said that uh only at that time i was not like uh like I was not pitied by others. Uh, I was at the same level as the other person. So that kind of gave her a kind of, uh, I don't know, like sense of being and everything. So that was the reason why like she did that. And um, so that kind of like shows that she like listens to other people and she like, uh, like other people's opinions kind of matter to her, which is, I think a bad, um, like, thing like people should not like listen to others like rumors and everything people will like there will definitely be a lot of haters around you and they will like talk bad about you and everything make rumors about you but if you like listen to that and like always like uh, like cowering and everything uh, thinking that ah they are probably laughing at me what will happen it kind of like leads to depression and everything so just like Ligoshi you should like keep everything at uh, like normal amount at a moderate amount you should definitely listen to other people but only take the good things from them that is and if like they say something which is like like talk bad about you you should like first judge what they are saying if it is correct then you should probably change uh, like uh, 
like change the bad thing that if you think that yeah the things that they're saying is probably correct and i should probably change this habit or change this thing about me then like you should like do that like take criticism well and do not like uh, like listen to haters that's the main thing so haru is not able to do that so i think she be, like she said this in a weird way and like lego she kind of misunderstood the whole thing and she's uh, like said like the way she was saying it it seemed as if like she doesn't think anything about the whole relationship but i think that's wrong i think she just wanted to say like yeah we are like like herbivores and carnivores and maybe people will talk bad about that rumors will like be like uh, moving around and everything so we should probably like keep it low i think haru just wanted to said that otherwise why the hell would she like say in season 1 that i will wait for you like that th there's no reason for that then so yeah i think it's all well and good this is just a misunderstanding in their part and yeah and i'm still not sure about the whole haru did really haru move past uh, like luis like uh, from season 1 we kind of saw that uh, haru did like luis i think she had kind of like a little crush on him and we're still not sure what whether like she went past that and that's all in the past or anything we'll probably get to know that later on and yeah and also like they need some kind of a closure like uh, i think how kind of like needs to talk to like, like louis and like 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 end it there and move past him i think that's the best way let's see like who knows like what she will do that and another thing uh, louis came back i was really not expecting that because uh, the whole like trailer kind of like showed us the way the trailer sh like uh, played out i thought maybe we're probably not going to see louis anymore uh, we'll see louis but not like he won't come back here but turns out he came back <laughs> in the first episode and he is kind of changed uh, his behavior and everything who knows what happened in these two months like we like last saw him kind of like gunning that uh, like that, like lying down and that was it we that was it that we got to know about him so maybe something happened we'll probably get to know that as well later on and he's kind of changed his saying stuff like yeah you like go and bask in that cheap light of yours i have more better things to do something like this and uh, kind of like sounded a bit arrogant i'm not sure if i should uh like arrogant is the right word but it kind of and let's see like like uh, like louis had this kind of arrogance before as well and that was the reason the reason behind that was his past so yeah like that's nothing new but still he kind of like sounded as a lot like aggressive more aggressive in a like passive aggressive kind of way and yeah that was the whole thing with louis and then came comes in juno now here's the thing uh, i think like i don't know like uh carni there was this whole tension be be between the carnivores and the herbivores from season 1 and i think there were a few people who did not like the idea of a herbivore becoming a beast star and like there were definitely people who loved like louis but at the same time there were like people who kind of like did not like the idea of a herbivore becoming a beast star so when he resigned now like all the carnivores are like uh like beside juno they are like cheering for her now like now there's two reasons for that number one as i said like there are a few carnivores who maybe probably thought that yeah like a uh, herbivore becoming a uh, beast star that's not something that should happen as you know like discrimination kind of like a uh, race not racial discrimination species discrimination i think uh, in this like uh, like in this show <laughs> and uh like that was one reason another reason i think they kind of like started like uh, hyping juno up more because uh, as they said that the speech that she gave uh, in front of the like all of them in that festival uh, that kind of like made the herbivores a lot um uh, i don't know like calmed them down i think as they said and they as like one of the other said that they don't look at us like they usually looked at us like in a like uh, in a fearful way they are a lot calmer now so i think that also kind of like boosted her whole um chances of becoming a beast star and uh, like i think that like speech that she gave i think that was solely for legoshi's sake like she wanted like in, in season 1 i remember like she wanted legoshi to come in front of everyone and like he like she would probably like 
uh, praise Legoshi and everything and like make others understand that Legoshi is a really good person, a really good um, uh, like uh, carnivore and because of that she did everything like that but uh, and also like later on she would probably like confess in front of everyone I thought I, I think maybe she also had that plan and yeah and uh, like that kind of like worked in a another like in an another direction it went like people started like praising Juno because of that like Juno's idea was to make everyone like Legoshi make everyone like make Legoshi the star of that night and as she like went like he went there and saved Haru and everything but it kind of worked worked the other way and Juno has this like huge popularity now like uh, being she being the leader and like holding the reins when Luis was not there and so that's why her popularity is increasing and everything she has a good chance of becoming a B star as like we saw and like Luis kind of like um, got uh, not got like resigned from everything and all and I'm still I'm not sure whether like uh, Luis has still like has this idea has this goal of becoming B star so we'll probably get uh, to know that as well later on so like now I think Juno has a better chance of becoming a B star and as I said like they were like going to have some kind of discussion uh, about like who is going to become the B star and everything yeah well that was this episode this was episode number one and in the end we kind of saw like uh, Legoshi uh, calling out to that thing with like slithering around I'm sure that is the snake because the voice actor is obviously we heard her uh, from the uh, trailer that is Orochimaru's voice actor Orochimaru and if you guys have seen Gintama it is also like uh, what was the name of that lady Otai no Otose 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 yeah uh, from Gintama, uh, that lady, uh, who's the land, like, landlady, that, that lady, same voice actor, so, yeah, in the end, uh, that was that, and, yeah, that was this episode, uh, I think this is a solid start, and we're probably going to get into more exciting stuff as, this, like, episodes go on, I'm really excited, and, uh, yeah, that was that. So thank you guys for watching, uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And comment down below uh, your opinions about Beastars, anything you want to say, anything you want to share. I'll be sure to check them out. And yeah, so yeah guys, um, that's it. Uh, I'll be back with a new episode of Beastars um, next week, same time. And so yeah, see you guys then. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.